Hello and welcome to Rapid Beginner Program. In the last episode, we started learning about topo surfaces. We started off by creating a topo surface by manually adding points in the model. Today, we are going to start by taking a reference of a CAD file that already contains the survey data in the form of contour lines. We're going to take this CAD file, acquire the coordinates from it, and then develop a topo surface based on that. So let's begin. So this is the CAD file that I would like to import. The first thing I want to check before importing my CAD file is to check with the units. That's currently my insertion scale is meters. My drawing is made in meters and the insertion scale is also meters. So we are good. If there is a difference between the two, the drawing that you have actually made in and the one that is shown in the units, that is going to mess up with your import in Revit. So we are going to make sure that they are consistent. The second thing I want to make sure is the layers. Which layers are important for me? Currently, this file contains only three layers, zero, contour, and index contours. For our purpose, the contour and the index contours, these are the two layers important for us. This particular one, which you see in the gray, is index contour layer, which is the primary contours. If you look at the elevation of this contour line, it's 2060 meters from the sea level. The blue line belongs to the contour layer, and each of these contour lines contain the elevation. This is extremely important. Each of your contour lines should have an elevation. Otherwise, it's of no use for you to create a topo surface in CAD. So this one is at 2059 meters from the sea level. The third thing I want to check is to zoom extend and make sure that the limits of my CAD file is limited to my zoom extends. And I don't have any abandoned points or lines lying around somewhere over there. So make sure that you only have those things that you would like to import in Revit. So now let's go ahead and save this file and move into Revit. So I've started a new project in Revit. And the first thing I'm going to make sure is to go to the site plan. In my site plan, I have two points available to me. There is this um, circular point, which is my site project base point. And there's this triangular point, which is my site survey point. Both of these are at the same location and the coordinates are 0, 0, 0. If you don't see these points, you can go into your visibility graphics, go to the site category and switch them on. The project base point and the survey point. Next thing I want to do is go into insert and link my CAD file that I want to import. I want to make sure that my positioning is auto center to center. So the center of my CAD should match the center of my Revit. Currently, the geo reference is not of much importance. What we really want is to bring a CAD file into the correct position and then acquire the geo reference from it. We're going to come back to that. But first, make sure that your positioning is uh, set to center to center so that it comes into the right place. I'm going to keep my import units as auto detect. If this doesn't work for you, you can manually also set the units that you would like to import on. I'm going to bring it inside. Now, import geometry is not visible. This error sometimes comes in because your elevation of your contours is at 2060 meters from the sea level. So if I go into my elevation, you'll see that my drawing is far away from my zero. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring it down a little bit. Let's say about 2000 meters. And these are my level zero. I'm going to take all my levels and maximize their 3D extents. And then I'm going to bring the lowest point of my contours down to zero. Now, if I look at my site plan, I'm going to be able to see my site properly. In this particular case, I have center to center my, the position of my CAD to my Revit. But if in your case, in your project, if that position is not always center to center, so you can always take your CAD file, move it to a position in reference to your project base point, wherever you like. I'm going to keep it center to center for now. So now, before we create a topo surface out of this, I want to make sure that the geo reference of my CAD file is also the same in my Revit. So the project base point is at currently 0, 0, 0. The project base point and the survey point, these are the two points important for you in the project. And you must understand the difference between the two. The survey point, let's hide in the view element this particular project base point temporarily. This triangular point that you see is your survey point. This survey point normally is always 0, 0, 0. All the measurements in your project is measured from the survey point. This is something like a benchmark point for your model where it 
measuring all your georeferences. So generally, you don't touch the survey point much. What you really do is change this project base point. So the project base point is the circular one. I'm going to hide my survey point temporarily. I'm going to show you the circular point, which is the project base point. This is the point that we want to have the correct georeference attached to. Currently, this is 0, 0, and 0. Let's go ahead into Manage. And I'm going to go under Project Location Panel. You have something called Acquire Coordinates here. I'm going to acquire coordinates from this CAD file. So after you activate the tool acquire coordinates, you must select a CAD file. And I'm going to select this one, and it's going to say that coordinates acquired from site contour part DWG is successful. I'm going to escape, and I'm going to come back to my project base point and see that the values have changed. So the entire project has moved to this northing easting and this elevation. I'm going to change my units to meters to, to make sure that it's correctly matching so here we say that this is about 2000 this particular point is 2035 meters from the sea level let's go ahead in one of the elevations here i'm going to go into visibility graphics by doing the shortcut vg go to the site plan and switch on my project base point so this is the point the zero level of my um, model is at 2035 meters so here if you see look at this this elevation is measured from the project base point. So from my project base point, which is at 2035, this is zero. If you look at your level lines and go into the type properties of it, it's saying that elevation base, which is displayed here, is measuring from your project base point. So if I change this to survey point, it's going to show that it is 2035 meters from my survey point. Let's go back to the site plan and look for our survey point. I'm going to do zoom extend to see where my survey point is going. My survey point is still at 0, 0, 0. So the project base point elevations and the northern easting are measured from the survey point, which is the 0, 0, 0 of my coordinate system. So normally this is sufficient. You would not actually change your survey point. The most um, usual practice is to simply hide your survey point, or you can go into the visibility graphics under site and hide your survey point. So if, when you do zoom to fit, you're going to see your model and you're going to see your project base point which is at the correct position in the elevation your particular project base point is at the, at your zero so whatever buildings that you're going to create on the stopper surface are going to be measured from the sea level but your level lines still can show zero if you want them to show the sea level you can always come back to edit type and change its elevation base to survey point instead of project base point now we have a CAD file that contains the contour lines positioned correctly, georeferenced correctly, and now we are ready to, to create our topo surface. So I'll go into my ma massing and site topo surface, and instead of manually placing points at different elevations, this time I'm going to use the create from import setting and use the select import instance tool. I'm going to select my CAD file. Which are the layers defining the contour lines which should be considered for creating contours? So I'm going to say that only these two layers should be considered to create a topo surface. And I'm going to say OK. I'm going to wait for the magic to happen. There we go. We have a beautiful topo surface created based on all the contour lines that we have. All looks good. So I'm going to finish the topo surface. And there we are. I can go into visibility graphics, imported categories, and switch off all the imported um, files from my view. So here we see the topo, topo surface that is created in Revit, taking the reference of CAD. Let's go back to the site plan. I'm going to insert under manage links. Because I don't need my CAD format temporarily, I'm going to unload that for now. And I'm going to see that under massing inside, I have label contours and I can label them. So these label contours currently is set to show the elevation measured from the project base point. So the project base point is at 2035 meters from the, from the sea level, and from that 2035, this is 13 meters high. If you want to show the real values of the sea level, select your contour labels, go to the type properties and duplicate, and I'm going to say this one is from survey point. I'm going to change the elevation base 
the survey point. So you're going to see the label contours based on the actual sea level elevations measured from the survey point, which is at zero. So from zero, this is 2048 meters. Now we have a topo surface. How do we design our site and start creating a building model on it? That's the topic for our next episode. So please make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.